Hello and welcome fellow gamers, my name is Borek and this is something different. This is 7 days to die modded with the new mod made by uh, Valmar and Loki the Weaver uh, the mod called Classic Horde Survival. This is something else uh, so we're gonna go just, um, I'm gonna go you I'm gonna give you the basic uh, knowledge about uh, this mod um, in CHS, Classic Horde Survival, you cannot craft mansions, bunkers, s castles, or invincible forts. This is not a crafting mode. In fact, most of the crafting elements have been removed. Not all of them, but most of them. Zombies do not run. They don't explode. They don't spit acids. They, there are no zombie dogs, no bears. Well, I think that's... Um, he meant no zombie bears, because... I've been playing this mod for like two hours and I have seen normal bears. But anyway, uh, there are no giant beasts as well. Zombies cannot climb walls, nor can they easily punch through brick or cement with their rotten hands, which is absolutely fantastic. So we're not gonna be building, we just need to survive. What zombies are, however, in a highly resistant is highly resistant to any damage that isn't a headshot. You don't have boss zombies that can take hundreds of headshots before going down. A well-placed shot to the head will down any zombie, even if you're using a lowly wooden bow. However, if you don't take out the brain, they will keep coming. The zombie's threat is in their shin numbers. Zombie spawn are much greater than vanilla. There are no SMGs, assault rifles, sniper rifles instead there is a pistol shotgun and a hunting rifle well that's pretty much it the loot table has been also modified there is a lot of a lot more of ammo in um, in the loot table and uh, yeah there is no recipe books there are no longer any recipe books or schematics in the game. Everything has been moved to packs. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Zombies you kill have a set chance of uh, to drop survival notes, which can be also found in, in loot. These notes can be read to gain uh, a single skill point, which can be spent whatever you want. Well, that's pretty much it. Well, I've read it from the forum. So we're gonna give it a go because this is something fantastic. So to start with, please, uh, uh, with please search your crafting menu for class and craft your class you want to start off. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, of course, the basic survival as well. So let's find ourselves in a nice spot. Nice spot somewhere over here. This is gonna be nice. We can see everything from up here. Uh, okay, so we are somewhere here south from the hub city itself. Okay, so let's get going. First of all, let's go into our menu. Uh, we need to enter class. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six classes, among other bruiser, gunman, hunter, medic, scavenger, and survivor. There is no builder. So these are mm, pretty much similar to the classes in uh, Valmot overhaul. So um, I has been playing the bruiser uh, the bruiser once was a street thug and has hardened experience on getting things done with close and personal. So uh, this actually, this is uh, the closest class to me because I don't like shooting. Well, I love uh, shooting with a shotgun and I know bruiser will get a shotgun. And I love mailing those guys and I will be probably using a lot of a knife. So the gunman is also a class which I would like to get, but no, I think we gonna go with the bruiser well the medic well i don't care stressful situations blah 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 scavenger survivor we are playing in, in the valmod series original valmod series uh, so i'm gonna go with the bruiser so let's craft that and there we have our lovely bag and all we need to do is place it down so let's do that over here let's open this up and there we go we have a shit ton of stuff for just for us and we have a brown shirt plant fiber well that sucked some boots a helmet we're gonna wear and we have a combat combat axe and a shotgun right from the start some food and a flashlight i think this one no this doesn't have a flashlight yet and we cannot do anything because first we need to read bru bruiser perks which will uh, which will gain skills relevant to our class. So let's read that and bada beam bada boom, the brother has experience in getting craft and prefers to, uh, to get up close 
and personal income but so let's accept that and we have unlocked um let me just see what we get bruiser skills yes we got bruiser skills so first of all we need we have unlocked uh, shotgun shells as you can see down below uh, the shotgun itself so we can craft shotgun and on or modified our own shotgun uh, pump shotgun choked with uh, this is a mod of a uh, ordinary shotgun we can attach choke uh, to it and pretty much that's it okay so now what we need is of course craft ourselves a nice and lovely uh, stone axe because anyway we will need we will need it anyway and then we will go with the basics basics i don't need that red thingy so let's make an axe let's get going because it takes a while to craft as you can see 30 seconds i'm playing this mod um, on normal settings i think i'm playing in the normal settings although i don't know if i don't have made it like a, a warrior but i think that's a normal survival settings with 60 minutes 60 minutes of daytime 80 hours of length time time and if seed is called a uh, classic survival no 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 classic horde survival yeah with spaces in between okay so we have crafted an axe the basic axe we can get which is actually to be honest really really cool so let's craft a bed roll let's continue bed that's bed bed roll so let's craft that and then we will see what we can get okay so let's go into packs so this is normal you know uh, qu quest and with the skills oh my god it has changed um of course we have the survival skills and stuff like that like armor smithing athletics but there's also a marathon runner which is who uh, you have the stamina i don't know if the, that's in a vanilla series but well, we will see in just a moment uh, so we have gained some blunt weapons axes and bladed weapons and I think athletics as well with the bruiser packs. Uh, what else is there? There is nothing over here, nothing special. Uh, if we want to uh, make bullets, we need to unlock, of course, uh, re relevant, relevant um, perk. There is a quality Joe, of course, fast eddy, blah, 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 blah. But the best thing is at the end. So here you can see there are traps. So we can make woodlock spikes, lock spikes. So these are hidden behind pegs, which take like five points. Uh, blunderbuss is also hidden, as you can see, but we have a shotgun, so no biggie. Wooden bow, well, um, I know that you can find no you cannot find any books so the chainsaw you can buy perk to make a chainsaw for the to, to get the recipe for the chainsaw there's a pottery sewing uh, the same as the books in um, in valmod itself the, the normal valmod uh, so here's a crossbow so there are no animal traps electrician plumbing blah 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 plumbing to make that plumbing kit to, to, for repairing for repairing the uh, sinks yeah the things and if we go into the crafting menu itself over here we don't have any frames whatsoever so there is no actual building incorporated into the game well there is a wood plate used for bases upgrade with carpenter kits repair with wood and construction tools and so on so as you can see there is still workbench but it doesn't work that well and there are spikes of course which are made look at that we don't have a forge so it's made with just ordinary iron so that's cool and what about this combat axe look at that we need whetstone for that and we can actually make a whetstone if we go into the stone recipes there is a whetstone over here man this is sick and insane and fantastic and look at that campfire well campfire ordinary campfire well whoops sorry no can i open the menu please can i do that no i can't okay so i need to uh, i guess i need to reload the game all righty guys so i'm back unfortunately the menu is uh, working i had to restart the game actually and i have destroyed just destroyed the stone over here 
because I want to show you guys how it it is it's uh, going in the game itself. Okay, so now we can actually attach the flashlight to it uh, to the shotgun itself, uh, as we know uh, the perk uh, for making the shotguns. And fortunately, we have some antibiotics with us. Okay, so I was talking about the campfire. So actually, in this mod, there is also a, a survival campfire, which is really, really fantastic. But we're going to need a normal campfire, cooking grill, and a cooking pot. I don't know if that's a, a thing that you can take, take back or not, but we will see that later on. So another cool thing is the clubs. Look at that, the club. So when we make a club, we can make the second level of the club if we have enough materials. And we have enough materials, for example, for this reinforced club. So the reinforced club is made out of wooden club and some iron. And then the second level, uh, that's the heavy club, is made out of uh, the previous, previously created iron reinforced club and this almost the same goes with the spike club but we can make crude nails with just that so look at that we can make a crude nail so right from the start we can make ourselves a lovely and fantastic and fantastic club although you need to watch out because if you find a normal club like 200 quality level and you try to upgrade it to reinforced club uh, you will create uh, the club with the uh, highest level you can make so for example at this moment if i would like to make uh, the heavy club uh, and if I would got uh, like 200 reinforced club, well, it will it would go down uh, into the level probably three or four or, or or something like that. So this is really awesome and cool, and this increases the actual damage. So let's let's look almost 16 entity damage, and if we do oh we need some more uh, crude nails. So we need nails or recipes. There's crude nails, so we need three more. And look at that, there's also a merchant del delivery box, which is really fantastic. So let's use that crude nail and let's craft ourselves a nice and fancy spied club. So we don't need to go around and look for a uh, recipe to make it. Although it is level 6, but look at that, already 18 entity damage, bleeding out, blunt trauma and stuff like that. We're gonna check it out, we're gonna check out all the things we have over here. And let's make a whetstone, because I want to check how this changes. Although as you can see, the combat knife with almost 300 quality, it deals only uh, 11 quality uh, 11 entity damage but it's a hell of an axe so let's try no 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 let's try and repair it can i repair it yes so we've lost like 50 quality but all to all the entity damage increased uh i don't know well i haven't seen club i haven't seen any no no that's an axe combat axe over here so that's kind of suck but there is a lot going on in the game itself so i'm really hyped about it and we will see uh, in just a moment i need to start crafting those thingies and then ooh, i will need to find a road i need to find some zombies to show you guys what is it all about this can we actually chop down yeah it goes relatively easy Let's get, let's get some wood and let's get going. Let's find some zombies. You, there, there is, I, I don't know if there is a hoe. I don't think so. No, there is no hoe in the game. So the farming is a bit... It's not, uh, impos it's not that it's impossible. You can farm. For example, if you pick up chrysanthemum, okay, so we have a chrysanthemum over here. Well, you can plant it like that and then you will get another one so you can move from one place to another for example you can make on your roof you can dig because there are shovels you can dig earth uh, from the surrounding area and if you decide to have a base or a small base you will get a field small field with chrysanthemum or golden rod i don't know if the same thing applies to uh, potatoes and corn but i think that is the case as well 
So as you can see, I'm crafting already the stone axes, which are relatively cool and nice, and I love them. And why is that? Well, let me show you why is that. Oh, yeah, so we have uh, the spy club over here. So as you can see already from the start, there is a shit ton of zombies. Hello, Michael. But one hit in the head, they are down. You can beat them up in the legs. Oh, look at that, I survived. No, no, um, you can shit. <laughs> as you can see, this is the horde coming. So we can beat them. We can smack them. But if you don't hit them properly in the head, they will be really, really hard to kill, to be killed. Uh, of course, there are crossbows and bows and stuff like that. Whoa, easy there, tiger. So as you can see, if you don't hit them, and I'm infected and I'm bleeding. God damn it, lady. What's wrong with you? Fuck me. So the spider zombie is uh, looking really silly. I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste. So the spider zombie really looks silly. So let's pick that up. Let's pick those up and let's make ourselves a bandage. Um, cloth, that's a cloth fragment. I think we need two and then bandages and let's not, and let's try not to die. Uh, we are losing health really, really fast. Can I craft that bandage piece? Yes, thank you. Because I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste. Use. I don't want to waste uh, my pills on them just yet. And look at that! One, two, three, four, five. Already five of those guys. We need to place down a bed though as well. And to be... Oh, shit. I need to use the pill anyway. So, let's place down the bedroll somewhere over here. It should be relatively safe. Bam, bada bim, bada boom. And now we save. Even if we die, well, that's not a big deal. So, um... Campfire. Yes, I know I can make a campfire. So if we use this stone axe, for example, if and if we hit her in the head, well, she's down, and then we can kill her uh, relatively easy, even with a stone axe. So this is really fantastic. They go down so quickly and nice. And if you use this combat axe, well, the heads starts to fly. If only you could just hit them in the head so the combat axe is really fantastic and as you can see we have a small small hole already going on but the combat axe oh shit i'm going to die i'm going to die oh and there's more coming fortunately fuck fortunately hey, hey, hey. Head, head off decapitation and another one I'm gonna die. Am I? Should I die? No, let's not die. Let's not die. Yes. And the bodies do not disappear. And there goes another one. God damn it. So let's use those painkillers of ours. And let's start looting. Well, that was disappointing. There's a shit going on. A lot of things. And as, as you can see, the more is coming. So this is really insane. Ooh, and we got a quest as well another quest no that's empty I think we're gonna need a bone to make a shiv we really need to watch out because they are coming from every single side every single side is occupied by zombies but the combat axe is really oh shit I thought it was still a zombie no 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 you don't touch me you don't touch me you really need to be accurate when killing when hitting them in the head no 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 piss off unfortunately i don't have any and look at that a screamer <laughs> bounced 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 okay um this oh and we got another surviving note another surviving note this is just great and there's some food they don't disappear so this is really fantastic although we cannot craft much at this point 
but it looks the game itself looks really fantastic and i think they don't run during the night time oh look at that another survival note so we're gonna so read those and another one man that's insane that's really insane um okay is there any any anybody whatsoever still standing no i don't think so so let's check this out let's check this out and let's make ourselves a campfire proper campfire we're gonna place it to finish up this hot this uh, this quest and look at that we can read the surviving notes right so this is like a quest accept it and bam bada beam bada boom the quest completed the quest completed and we got a it's over here so the mm, reward for that is one skill point and we can spend those skin skill points whatever we wish to do to make so yeah that's pretty much it this is really fantastic and i love it and i think we're gonna have so much fun with it let's place down the campfire and let's see what we can make come on come on come on so that's done and fortunately we can go over here and see well there is a survival discipline of course that's a quest that's a quest survival discipline is a quest and we cannot use any guns and kill 70 zombies so that's gonna be really really awesome okay but enough of the babbling so we have a really nice recipes over here as well we don't need to unlock them uh, with any recipes whatsoever for example chunky meat stew uh, we, all we need is cooking pot and stuff like that and the bowl of water the bowl of water unfortunately we need to learn the clay uh, clay thingy to, ma to be able to make uh, the clay bowl but yeah old sandwich well actually I could use that trunk well let's um, start the quest but you know to free up the slot um anyway so this is really fantastic i love it so let's cr start crafting those thingies let's read a few of those surviving notes accept nice increase our skill points can we hello yes thank you and let's start going and finding a road nearby because that's as usual is going to be really super important because we need to find a place for a night well i know that uh, the zom that zombies do not run in this mode but it's better to it's always better to have a place to stay isn't it i think so so uh i think there are potatoes over there so i want to uh, at the end check if if uh, they can be placed or i mean planted no we cannot plant them there is no seeds we can scrap them oh to get some assorted vegetables that's good because assorted vegetables is um, one of the things we can we can actually um, cook so we have found so we have found a road and we need to continue we're gonna go should we go up there's another road so there might be a crossroad over there but i think we're gonna finish up this episode at this point because uh, yeah because we're gonna continue in the next one and uh, we're gonna have some fun with the hordes and as you can see a shit ton of zombies we're gonna so loot them i need to read all of these um survival survival notes just to get to know things around actually let's kill that one last zombie over here and if we get one there's gonna be a hundred more so la last one thing over here you have a zombie count and look at that they keep coming they keep coming so i think actually it's a, it is better to use ordinary stone axe look at that i've just killed one and there's a like hundred on me already so okay guys that's gonna be it for today's episode i don't have that much health so i may want to try the lady over here at the end loot her no you too ah shit he did like shit ton of damage to us unfortunately okay guys so that's gonna be it for today's episode the first no, 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 no. Oh, we have found a beaker. How nice, how convenient. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button in the section down below. 
and i hope i'm gonna i'm gonna see you in the next episode so till then take it easy have fun happy gaming and see you later bye bye